Okay, hi, it's Dr. Beaufort. We're just getting started on the right knee. We've already uh, done a bunch of work, like we talked about. We've already done the lumbar facet injections and done the epidural and gotten some bone marrow, um, which we're going to use as part of our meniscal repair augmentation. And now we're just looking in the medial compartment. I'm going to stop for a second because the scope looks a little loose. I'm just going to tighten up. We'll show you some more in just a second. Okay, so we're looking here in the medial compartment. Here's the medial meniscus. You can see the capsule and the meniscal capsular junction. You can see the vascularity there in the capsule and how it kind of stops when you hit the meniscus there. There's still some that continues into the meniscus, but not all the way through. The key here is the meniscus looks stable on the medial side. Not much problem or not much damage to the articular cartilage, so that's a good sign too. We can scan up the medial femoral condyle, and that looks good. We're going to look in the central part of the knee. This is the notch where the anterior cruciate ligament is. So here's the ACL right here. That looks great. The posterior cruciate ligament is going to be behind here. show you some more in just a minute. Okay, so we're up in the super patellar pouch. Can you just hold his foot like that? And we're looking superiorly. This is lateral over here to the left. Medial's over here to the right. We don't want to shave too much. You don't want to get too much bleeding yet. We'll pull back a little bit. There's the patella. You can see the patella at the top of the screen there. And the cartilage on the undersurface of your patella actually looks pretty good. A little bit of an abundant fat pad. We're just going to do enough for section so that we can see right now. We can track this all the way down to the front of the knee. There you can see the anterior cruciate ligament as it tucks underneath in the notch. We'll come back up. And we get back up here to the patellofemoral joint. Okay, not much in the way of articular damage or degenerative change, I should say. And as we look down here in the lateral gutter, That looks pretty good all the way back there. It's actually the outer portion of the lateral meniscus right there. So we'll come back up. We'll get back in the super patellar pouch here. As you see, I don't see any bleeding sources inside the joint, which is one of the things that we had talked about. That looks very clean. We'll come down here to the medial side. And this medial gutter looks uh, pristine here. No signs of any problem. So to sum up this part of the knee, the patellofemoral joint and the suprapatellar pouch actually look pretty good. A little bit of a hypertrophic fat pad, but nothing, uh, nothing that really requires any significant surgery. And the articular surface on the patella actually looks pretty good. Okay, so we're looking from the medial side to the lateral side now. We're still in the super patellar pouch. And again, we're just flushing it out again with more salt water, basically. But this gives us just another vantage point. We can see a little bit of erosion on the distal pole of the patella there. Not bad. The key, though, is there's certainly nothing inside the 
super patellar pouch that's bleeding. Took off a little bit of a plica there. Okay. So I think now we're finally going to look in the lateral compartment in just a minute here. Okay, so here we're getting a really good look inside the lateral compartment where we had some concerns on the imaging and based on your symptoms. And we see the posterior horn is intact, the root is intact, no signs of any significant tearing here. There's the popliteus tendon running up towards 11 o'clock on the screen. That's normal, right? I'm touching it right there, normal. A little bit of a meniscal flap tear, see that right there? But again, that's magnified 30 or 40 times on the screen. That's not a repairable thing. That's a trimmable thing, just like this. So that tear is now no more. And as we look at the meniscal capsular junction here, that looks pretty good too. As we come around more anteriorly. So I'm actually very optimistic that we ought to be able to get you back to doing all the things you want to do without a major meniscal repair here. I just want to check the articular surfaces. The tibial plateau looks good here on the lateral side. Can you reach and hold the hold this uh, shaver for a second? Just careful on the screen. Hold it like that. Okay. I'm going to pull back and look at the articular surface of the lateral femoral condyle. And every place I can see it here. I got you it actually looks pretty good. So I think this is going to turn out to be good news. You had just a little flap tear. Can I get a little biter? So I make sure these edges are stable and that there's nothing that's about to tear. And a lot of times the best way to do that is with this instrument right here. I'm not trying to take off much at all, if anything. Just want to make sure we have a clean edge. Really no more than what you see there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the shaver back in because it has suction on it. If there's any loose pieces, we can evacuate those very quickly here, as you see. Plus, we can polish our little partial resection here, if you will. Okay, so that looks really good. Comfortable that we've seen everything we need to see. And we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly. Now, we are going to inject the bone marrow concentrate as an intra articular injection. I just want to show you the ACL again. Hey, Vern, come put a hand on his knee so it doesn't come off the other way. Push towards here. So there's the ACL. And that looks good. So good luck to you now. We're going to finish up here, get you back to the recovery room shortly. Bye-bye. I just want to share, we're taking our last look inside the knee. I was just looking at the ACL, making sure it had good tension on it. 
it's certainly running in the proper direction. When I do a dynamic stress test, it tightens up, as you see. Okay, so we're going to finish up here for real. Okay, good luck to you now. Bye-bye.